Hey everyone, just wanted to give you all a, a quick rundown of my kayak. Purchased a 2016 model Ascend FS12 sit-in. Uh, they stopped making the sit-in uh, in 2017, so luckily I was able to score this on Craigslist for a pretty good deal. So I wanted to give you all a quick rundown of my kayak, what I'm cruising in. Uh, quite a heavy kayak. It's, uh, it's about 80 pounds, unfortunately pretty hard to move by myself um, but give you a rundown here we got a pretty large patch this is great for storing big items put my cast iron skillet my tarp uh, a few other large items in there it's not a dry well it does not stay dry so and it does stay down pretty well. This does not come up when you're towing it or anything. Pretty heavy duty handle. I'm sure if you leave yours out in the sun, it'll get damaged and crack. Um, we do have a nice dry well here. Oops. My items do stay dry in here actually. I've had limited success with dry boxes or dry wells on the kayaks and this one works well. Put my phone, keys, anything else and it's cool. It's comes out so I've seen people actually move this to here and then put fishing rod holders and other things right here but I prefer it how it is I'm um, just coming standard here your fishing rod holder uh, it does swivel so once you have it in there you can pivot it many ways I'm um, up here is uh, an anchor point so you can put an anchor on this and then set it. So whenever you're fishing, it helps track better. It comes with this ridiculously comfortable seat. This is probably 50% of why I bought the kayak. Um, removable seat, padded, never touching your butt to the plastic. Um, so it's super comfortable for long trips. And there's little things sticking out are what keep the chair in place. They fit inside of these little grooves right here, right here, and right here. So it just slides right in here and here. It has two fishing rod holders in the back here and here. These can kind of get, I guess they're not the best. I've gotten my pole stuck on trees so many times right there, so I tend to keep it up front here. Another really, really cool feature on this kayak is the little well here. Um, so a five, ga sorry, five gallon bucket fits right in here in the circle. And then if you have a milk crate, standard milk crate fits, standard milk crate fits right there. And then a little battery, you can put a battery right here. Uh, got your drain plug in the back. Thinking about adding another drain plug right here because you have to make sure to tilt it to the right when you're draining it and sometimes when it's loaded down it's heavy nice little pads here and here um, to prevent your knees from smashing into the side and then you can put your right here you can put your paddle and then it gets locked down this little guy. Get your standard cup holder. One thing that is a bummer about this is if you're sitting here to get to your drink, you have to do a sit up. You gotta, you gotta really want it. So, two biggest downfalls of this kayak. It's say it weighs 80 pounds and it's hard to get your drink. Um, the bottom of the kayak, just for those who wanted to see it. This is a super duper stable kayak. I can stand up and fish off of it, no problem. It's got two cleats here to tie off. I actually have a little basket and I tie my basket off to those cleats. Again, an FS12 sit in kayak. It's a wonderful, wonderful kayak. If you all are interested in buying a new kayak or you don't know which kayak to purchase, 
uh, FS12 sit in. It's a great kayak. Hopefully you all like the review. If there's any anything else you want to know about it or have any other questions, certainly just comment below and subscribe and like. Thank you.